Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about the one more topic in ethical hacking that is a payload. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the exploit. So exploit means the process of taking an advantage of any vulnerability of a system or a software or a hardware or a network. And once that exploitation was done, then we have to set this payload. So the payload is a data which is transmitted to the victim system. And this is also a software. I mean, this is also a piece of code, right? So which takes an advantage or which gain the access of the information from the target system, right? So this payload is a, a piece of data or a chunk of data which gives the access to hacker, right? So once the exploitation done, then this payload will be executed. So payload executes once exploitation done. So we can say this payload as a malware. Right? We can say this payload as a malware, but exploit is not a malware. So this payload is a data transmitted. So the hacker will transmit some malware into the system and the control will be taken by the hacker. What should be happened on the target system? Right? So that will be done with the help of this payload. So what to be done? on victim system is decided by the payload and the control will be from the hacker itself and this payload so for every exploit there will be a number of payloads all right so a number of payloads are available so where we can get these payloads so these payloads we can get these payloads by using you know, from the popular tools called Metasploit Framework Metasploit Framework and Wheel Framework So by using these two frameworks we can use the payloads which are already available and also we can create a payloads right so Payloads are available at a Metasploit framework or the Wheel framework. So already in our previous sessions, we have explained you about the installation of Wheel framework, right? And coming to the Metasploit framework, this will be already pre-installed with the Kali Linux installation. So during the Kali Linux installations, already the Metasploit framework will be pre-installed. So that will be already available in your Kali Linux, right? So you can use the Metasploit framework or the Wheel framework to use the payloads. So it will be having the exploits as well as the payloads, right? So in order to gain the access of a system, the first step is we have to find the vulnerabilities and we have to take an advantage of those vulnerabilities by executing the exploit. And once it was done, then we have to set this payload. So the payload give the access to the data to the hacker. Okay, gives the access of data to the hacker. And this will be executed only after the exploitation. And uh, so actually this payload tells what to be done on the victim system right now these payloads are classified into three categories the first one is stage stagger stag so these are the three classifications of payloads classification of Payloads. So st stage, stager, and stack. See what what is this stage? Coming to the first one, 
state and this is designed for small communication small communication that means just like uh, creating a user so by using this stage payload we can create the user a small kind of communication it will establish a small kind of uh, communication and coming to the second category stagger module and here this payload is designed to upload bigger size of files to victim system so in order to upload so once the app, uh, the exploit was done once the payload is set automatically the complete access of that victim system will be under control of a hacker so hacker can automatically upload some files to the victim system so the second stage i mean the second type of payload is a stager or a stagger and this is used to design i mean this is designed to upload the larger size of files to the victim system and coming to the third category that is a stag these are the stag and these are the payload components these are the payload components which are downloaded from this particular second type okay and it provides some advanced features like no limit on the size of the file which are being uploaded in the victim system so there is no size limit right see this payload these are the payload components payload components downloaded these are the payload components downloaded from stagger modules the second type okay stagger module and provide some advanced features advanced feature like unlimited size of files to be uploaded to be uploaded right so these are the different types of payload so one example for this payload is so example i will tell you the example the common example which we will use is reverse underscore https or reverse underscore tcp so these two are the different payloads which gives the reverse connection between the victim system and the attacker or hacker right so in order to gain the access of a data of a victim system we need a connection there should be a connection between the victim system as well as the attacker right so that connection that reverse connection will be established by executing this these payloads that means a reverse https or reverse tcp so this is a simple example of this payload right so once the vulnerability is is found automatically the exploit will be done and immediately the payload can be set that means we can gain the access of computer so payload will be a malware so it can send the data what to be done on the victim system right so a malware can be sent to the victim system so that it will be get executed right for example if the attacker sends a mail with a small attachment so if the victim system the victim or uh, the person who downloads that uh, attachment from the mail and immediately it replicate itself and creates some ransomware uh, malware then that type of ransomware is known as a payload so 
what actually done on the victim system is given in the payload the piece of code given in the payload right so hope you understood this payload so i now uh, i will show you the metasploit framework and the wheel framework and i'll show you the payloads in those frameworks in the kali linux so already we have installed the kali linux in our virtual way virtual machine and uh, now i will show you how to get the payloads from metasploit framework as well as a wheel framework so the installation of wheel framework is already uh, explained and uh, it is available in our playlist i will post the play playlist playlist uh, link in the description box so just click on that one and uh, follow the installation process and do the installation right so let's stop here let's move on to the kali linux and uh, let us explore the play payloads so hello friends uh, so just now we have seen the importance of a payload what is an a payload and what are the different types of payloads and uh, there will be already available payloads and we can also create a payloads and these payloads will be available in two different frameworks so as we have discussed just now that is a metasploit framework and the wheel framework so now we'll see what are the different uh, i mean where we can find these uh, uh, payloads so the first one uh, wheel framework already we have installed this wheel framework just go to the terminal and type the command wheel so that it will open the wheel framework and here you can observe the two tools that is the evasion tool and ordinance tool so in both the tools we can have the payloads just use one the command use one uh, to use the evasion tool and use two to use the ordinance tool i'll go with the use one evasion so you can find out here wheel evasion menu so in that you can find 41 payloads are loaded so just to list out the payloads you can simply use a list command so it will list all the 41 payloads here and you can see there are different payloads and one example we have seen in our class that is a reverse underscore http and reverse underscore tcp which gives the reverse connection between the attacker system and the uh, victim system so you can observe a lot of uh, payloads are available so here we are having http and tcp and again we are having some http https and tcp and here also we are having some http https so the, what's the difference so the first part of this payload is a language in which the payload has been created so this is a auto it this is an auxiliary this is a c and this is a cs this is a goal go language Perl language powershell python ruby etc etc so you can use anything so you can use a python or you can use ruby whatever it may be so but the working of uh, this payload is same it established the reverse connection if you are using some reverse underscore t http or reverse underscore tcp right so this is how we can list out all the payloads which are available in the wheel framework so you can use either uh, evasion uh, tool or ordinance tool and coming to the metasploit so as i have said that the metasploit framework will be pre-installed with the kali linux already that will be installed here so in order to open that one just to use a command called msf console that means msf msf stands for Met Met metasploit framework so just click on enter just uh, wait for a few seconds so it may say take some time so meanwhile uh, subscribe to our channel and support our channel So here you can find the message starting the Metasploit Framework Console. So here you can see it was opened and here you can observe the menu. So 2,230 exploits are there and 867 payloads are there. Okay. So in order to list out, so just use a command called a pay, show payloads. So it will show all the payloads which are available. See all these are all the payloads. Right. So here also you can see the payload followed by the windows and the PowerShell uh, the language followed by the reverse uh, TCP, reverse HTTP, everything, everything is common. So 
the format is different but uh, these are all the payloads which are available in the msf console we can make use of any one of the payload uh, payload according to our requirement okay and also there are a lot of exploits here so we first we need to exploit the vulnerability then only we have to use a payload so we can go with one so show exploits so it will show all the exploits here so 2229 exploits so we can use the exploit and then we have to execute the payload so that we can take an access of a victim system so this is how we uh, how the exploit and how the payloads can be selected from the metasploit framework or the wheel framework right hope you understood this one and in our further sessions we'll explore the metasploit framework and how can we gain the access of a victim system and all these things i'll explain you in the further sessions so hope you understood this one and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much